So when things break in your trailer, they might have kind of a bittersweet ending. So the um, area under the couch here has broken a couple times. And on our last trip, it broke and basically it falls down and gets unscrewed and you screw it and the screws, when you drive, they loosen up. So I kind of got an idea and I've been back here before doing insulation and we do have a bunch of suntan lotion on our couch that we need to clean off. So if anyone has any recommendations on a product to clean kind of suntan lotion off, uh, vinyl um leave that down in the comments so um when this fell off i kind of got a good idea of you know you when you have a smaller camper this is a 21 foot winnebago 2106 ds you kind of get resourceful so when this fell off one day i kind of just said i'm not going to screw it on i think i lost the screws there's somewhere i've found them since then but look at the storage for shoes we've always had a trouble with shoe storage because basically they just end up right there at, at the entrance. But we decided to kind of let this, um, let, you know, not, not attach it back. And look at all this room we have for storage. So we can fit all of our shoes basically besides the one we wear, ones we wear. And we actually have some storage up here too that we used for some of my daughter's books and things. But they're all out now. But it's it's good storage. Um, and we can actually get some shoes single file in front of there, but uh, we've kind of got them outside right now. But just kind of, a, you know, a little reminder to get to know your camper because you might find things that you don't know about. And that's a good, you know, almost two feet by a foot and a half of storage. So it fits all of our hiking boots and things like that. Um, and then when you're here in the day, you can just uh, push that together. And then it's out of sight, out of mind. It's very clean. So that's just a quick tip um, to explore your camper. Under your drawers, under things, there might be some extra storage, like under here. Um, we could obviously put like a small little nook here because there's um, there's a false floor there and get a little more storage. But that, I don't know, that's kind of a hassle. Um, if we use the trailer a lot more or full-timed in it, maybe I would do that. But um, for us and our use, I don't think I'd do it for that small of storage. But if you have any other things, you know, keep a lookout. Look behind cabinets. Look behind, um, like right here, for example. We have our radio here, and it's kind of a waste of space because this could be all another cabinet. And so basically up here, I've taken this off, is just nothing. There's a bunch of wiring in there. But up here, we could actually mount, and I think it's maybe to mount a solar controller or something like that. Um, but you can actually have another full thing of storage maybe for your paper plates. We could just take this off and open it up, put a floor in there, and have it for storage for other things. So keep that in mind when you're going around your trailer and you go, gosh, why does this why does this cabinet only go to here? What's behind here? Maybe they just put a false panel in just to make it look pretty, and you can take that off and you have eight more inches of storage. So always keep that in mind when you're looking around. Well, that's just the quick tip for today. If you do, if you guys have any kind of recommendations or comments on this, um, leave them down in the description because we're more than happy to learn more about uh, you know clever ways to use storage. And I think under there is a very clever way. We're gonna I'm gonna look at a hinge system or something for that flap because when we drive it does fall down. Um, so sometimes I'll screw it on if I don't want to deal with it. But the cool thing is the shoes can stay in there, um, and we don't have to worry about them. All right, thanks for watching the Savvy Campers, and we'll see you at the next campsite.